Dave and I'm working with a new M227L. M22B has been discontinued, I believe. So M227L is a laser safety beam sensor. Now keep in mind, a safety beam sensor is not really intended to trigger the door open. It's, it's for people who stop in the doorway. Uh, it's something I really recommend for any medical facility, doctor's office, nursing home, where you have frail people. Now, the other thing I want to touch on here is that it, it does work for pets. You know, if it's mounted at your pet's head level, they work great for that. But, again, the primary purpose is to mount it directly on the door. So if anybody is within the door jam, the door swing range, it will instantly back up provided there is any movement. So, that being said, M227L, it, it, it's, it's a nice looking unit, uh, kind of cramped quarters. I'll supply a wiring diagram at the end of the video, but it's, it's pretty basic. Red is, red goes to red, is 24 volt. Uh, black is your ground. Brown will go to sensor, and yellow will go to calm. And that's pretty universal with the allied units. Now, I used wire nuts, and they're a little bit big for the channel this fits in. If I was to do these again, I would use a, a butt end connector because the wire nuts, even though they're small, they're a little bit bulky. Now, we're going to be triggering on and off throughout this video. Um, there are adjustments for your height. And one thing they did with this 227L is to add a laser so you can see directly where it's pointing, where the lenses are going. And that's that's helpful in a, in a lot of situations. Now, and then, of course, when you're done with that and you have your range and everything, you turn that off. Now... As I said, the, the, you want to get this wired and put together before you put it on the door. Because I found if I, if I mount this channel, then the screw heads won't allow me to slide my, my lens onto the track. So let's say we have our main component mounted on the door then and your range is correct it's it's adjustable with these screws and that will tighten down and you can adjust this angle somewhat by loosening those thumb screws then your last step one of your last steps will be to put the lens cover back on and they, they fit tightly on that track. I'll, you gotta give them credit. Their, uh, their tolerances are pretty tight. It's, a lot of times it's easier if you're looking at the end as opposed to looking at the front. And there is a certain direction it goes on. If you put it on backwards or upside down, it'll just want to fall off. Once you have your shield on and like I say the plan on playing with those wires once our shield is on then our end cap can go on now depending on which side you run your wire you may have to, one needs to be cut out and they do allow room for your wire to go through if you don't have the 18.4 cable and you have individual wires, they, they do include a piece of split loom and it's, it, it looks a lot nicer. As I've said, this is intended to mount directly on the door, top center. 
and it's I, I really urge people if you're in the medical community hospitals doctors offices put in this safety beam sensor you'll be so glad you did so with that uh, I wish you well take care and the wiring diagram will be at the end of the video thanks bye Hi everybody, hey, we got the 227L on the door, and uh, I did put in a plastic staple up here, and I went oversized, so it's got a little slack when the door does open. Now, in setting this up for range and angle, it takes a little tweaking, a little fussing, and, you know, it's, you just... You just got to play with it to get it to do what you want. Now, but it's it's not overly hard. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it's not really intended to be the primary door opener. It will, and it can, but the, the primary purpose is it's a safety beam sensor. And... It, it works well in that capacity. Now, I've mounted mine high and center. And, you know, motion sensors are kind of a weird concept where if they see movement, they'll stop. But in this case, it's so high up, it can't see the ground. So, in effect, it does not know it's moving. It's, it can't see the ground. It doesn't know it's moving. So, uh, now one thing I want to point out up here. I, as you may recall, I use those wire nuts. And there, there's not a lot of room in there. And really, I suggest, you know, using a butt end splice, maybe soldering the wires. Those wire nuts are just a little too big. And you're going to have four of them in there. And mine are on the small side, but they're still too big. And now my cap doesn't fit right. That's, that's not a defect. That's, that's my uh, wire nuts pushing on that. So, now, as I said, it's, it's not the primary opener. Your buttons should be that or maybe a different sensor. But it will open the door. Now, but really, the primary function of this is that when the door is open, and if somebody's in the way, it, it will stop and it'll back up. And as long as there is movement, now I've got the range set short. It probably should be a little longer. Like I say, there's a lot of tweaking with this stuff. Now, and as I mentioned before, healthcare industry. This is really what you should have on the door, something like this. So, uh, one thing too, when you first set up, it has a really annoying beep, 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 beep. Sounds like a truck backing up. Uh, after that first, once it's powered on, the, the beeping does stop and then it's quiet after that. Uh, it's a, it's a nice little unit, and the 227B is a good unit too. The wiring is different. Uh, I think the one benefit of the 227L laser is that it does have that red laser distance uh, angle finder. Not distance finder, but angle finder, which makes it a little easier. So with that, uh, check for the prints at the end of the video, and have a good day. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm Dave, and this is kind of a add-on to the original video. Now, I learn something new every day, and the problem is I forget something every day. But what I learned here was I had a customer who had a problem with the motion beam safety beam triggering the doors open and he didn't want that and 
you know, through some thought and discovery, we realized it can be done the way you want it, where the, the safety beam does not trigger if the doors open. But if they're closing, it'll trigger them so they open back up, which is the way it should be. So I'll trigger these and we're opening. Now, it's not gonna do anything while they're opening, but if we're closing, we can trigger and they'll open back up and grandma gets out the door. So again, it can be pretty close. And I, I like this. I really do like the way we got this set up. And again, it will not trigger them open. It, it can be set where I'll trigger open and, you know, back the doors up. That might be a good thing with a pet. Um, but sometimes you, you just don't want that scenario. So with that, hey, thanks. Have a good day. Bye.